Yeah. Yeah. How's that for a bit of nostalgia? PS1, yeah. Bit of fans, PlayStation 1 edition. Yeah, PS1, what we're is it? We're all 3D now and blocky. You can't see us, but if you could, we're all tr PlayStation graphics now. Yeah. Tekken. Tekken <laughs> 1. Got big square hands and little skinny wrists. And... <laughs> What's up, Wes? What's the crack, bro? Too bad. Here we are, we're back again. We are back. Talking about the games on the PlayStation Mini, or the PlayStation Classic. The which... PlayStation Mini Classic. Now, I, I have my own little opinion, though, about that, though. Yeah, it's whatever. cool, right? It's cool for the kids and all, but like, it's not a bit. The kids? Absolutely. What do you mean? Know. Like, can you not get all those games already, no, on the PS Store? You can, but there's also the NES Mini and the Super Nintendo Mini, which you can also get them on virtual consoles and yeah, I suppose, yeah. emulators. I think it's a handy little the, thing to have. Yeah. Can them. you put, actually, well, we'll get to those questions later. <laughs> <now, actually. laughs> Hello, anyway. What's the question? <laughs> straight into it. <laughs> Jump right into it. We are talking about the PlayStation Mini. Eager to talk about it we're not talking about that other thing but we will soon Red Dead we had will to mention it yeah. yeah we will talk about it we will be talking about that soon but it's just we have to play it more <laughs> we're gonna finish it it's a big game <laughs> it's a very big game and but it's a savage game we will it is savage Wait, we're not getting into it no but still. we will it will be a because um, we were asked are we gonna talk about it and discuss it and review it um, I don't know I've never like I don't know if there's such thing as reviewing games on podcasts but we'll give it a proper bash yeah we'll just review bits and bobs as we go but right now we need to get stuck into it because yeah. I have a lot to do <laughs> when we're done we'll come back and it'll, it'll probably be a, we probably might do two it depends this is our top of head it'll be a, a spoiler free version where we talk about the games and mechanics Yeah. and then the other one will be a pure hour if we get there of just straight up spoiler we're going to talk about everything and anything Yeah. but for now I need to catch up. we're at home <laughs> we're playing it oh yeah I'm only on the fourth chapter Wes is only on the second. I'm only on the second, yeah, I haven't had time. I ran into walking. a mutual friend of ours, ran into Anja yesterday. Yeah. I thought he was, he'd be finished it. He goes, no, I'm only on chapter seven. I'm I like, there's a chapter seven? What? Oh, I heard he was uh, finished it. Tommy he was only on chapter seven. Oh, really? I don't yeah. know. Seen him across the road, he just goes... No spoilers though from him. Seen him across the road, I was like, all right. And straight away, he just goes, how are your partner? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> We're all red, dead, mad in Ballymore at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's bring back the horses in Ballymore. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be little. But anyway, that's for another time. For now, the PlayStation Classic has been the whole lineup has been revealed. Yeah. Before mini. this, we is only it the classic or the mini. What is it called? This is only we have we have the uh, the list of games up here. The mini the classic. It, I think it's called the classic. Yeah. Because I don't know what happens. It's called the PlayStation Classic. Right. PlayStation Classic. Because mini. The, if you call yeah. it the PS One Mini, that's the that old. Remember that old small PlayStation that came out years ago with the little small roundy one. Oh yeah. That was called a PS One, and then people call it PlayStation Mini. So um. Do you want to take a soup me drink there? I suppose, yeah, but um, but yeah, there's already been a few games like announced that are already on the thing. Yeah, so so twenty here, twenty games. It's a little it's 20, is it? twenty yeah. games. You have a little virtual memory there's card. A few little crackers on it as well. Like, you get two full size pads. Full so what do you mean like PS One? PS One pads without the analogs. The original no analogs. No analogs. The original one that was going when you put it in your hand, Straight you're going to be like, this is weird. Yeah, <laughs> it feels awkward. But we talked about the games. And we're gonna go through the alphabet order. We're gonna go from B to W. But wait, actually, hang on. But just back to the, the pads. Word. Or um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They are two full size wired controllers. Wired. Really? Plug in. Yeah, proper. That's gonna be a pain in the hoop. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to Word, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, Jesus, I don't know. We have to play pound away and all. Fuck. But, um, yeah, but either way, I'd say it'd be a good. I, I wouldn't mind having a little buzz on one though. And anyway, just yeah. for the nostalgia, you know what I mean? Yeah, sorry. But yeah, so we go, we're gonna go through the games anyway. A little virtual memory card, a HDMI cable to connect to your TV, and two full oh, does, does a memory card? A virtual one built into it. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like the <laughs> old memory cards, man. 42 MB, were they? Is that what it was on them? Was it even that? No. 16 MB or something? No, no, it was 32 KB. KB? Yeah. Fuck off. The PS2 memory card's only 8 MB. KB, the PS2 was 8 MB. It's mad, like we have pictures on our phones that take <laughs> up more than that. Like, you know what I mean? That's crazy. <laughs> Damn it, KB, man. It's weird you think of it that way, innit? That's, yeah. I take like, a picture right now. My profile picture is, has more memory on it than a, a memory card. <laughs> on Facebook <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, like, 15 or 16 gosh. KB yeah Fuck and man. then for the PS2 we got 8 MB 8 MB yep Jesus 8 megabytes that was mad 
and now we're on so, yeah. terabytes with the PS4. So then, what's like sort of these are the games that were announced in anyway? Yeah, we'll go through them and we talk about what. Some of them I'm not familiar with though. Same, but I know I'm not. I haven't played them first hand, but I kind of like a, like a cultural osmosis of them, as in just by being online and like looking at games and stuff and yeah. reading about it, I've absorbed information about the game, but I've never actually played them. Yeah, where I can go, oh yeah, that's that character, that's that thing. But for some of these, I just know of the con. Of the, but we get there when we get to them. Yeah, sure, we'll brush over it anyway. Starting with number one, we have Battle Arena Toshiden. Toshinden. Toshiden, I don't know. Toshinden. Toshinden. Toshi, whatever. Sekiro, Sekiro That's again. That's the first one that I didn't know. Sekiro, <laughs> Sekiro. I actually didn't, but I had a look at it, and it actually looks decent. It's kind of like a, it's a fire game. It's like a 3D it's a, fighting like, game on... It's kind of like Mortal Kombat meets Tekken. It's... In, in a PS1 game. It's like I'd say more like not the 3D Mortal Kombat. That's what I mean. Sorry. In a way, I can see where you're, yeah, that kind of way. It's that also mixed with a um, virtual fighter because yeah, you can kick each other out with the edge of the ring. Oh, can like you? Soul Calibur. Yeah, that's what I remember doing. I used to be this little fella called Chaos. You roll into a ball and you just keep hitting the computer. They block and you just like get off the ring. You're, yeah, you're actually, gone. Yeah, it looked good. I, I had a look at it there just before we came on, and it actually looks pretty decent. I wouldn't mind having a shot of it. Or I never played the first one. Well, that is that the first one? That's the first one. Oh, I've only played the second one. My dad had the second one, and we played it for. I remember playing it for hours, playing that and mm. Puzzle Bubble on the PS One and Bubble Bubble, playing all these old arcade games. Yeah, the had on classics, this. man. And then we had pa- Battle Arena Toshiden. Yeah. Two. Never played one by one, but uh, yeah, we were only watching there on, fa- on Facebook on YouTube. Looks a bit buzzy. It actually does look pretty buzzy. Yeah, what a twenty-year-old game. That's what I'm thinking. Like that's that's exactly what I was thinking when I was watching it. This actually looked pretty decent, like a fi- fighter game. But um, never yeah, not much we can say. There right? is, yeah, it's there's not much we can say. There's more to come. There's actually another fire game that we were just discussing. Well, that it. that is gonna absolutely destroy it. Yeah. We're gonna be. I'm gonna do this now on the fly as well. I'm gonna actually look up what the ratings for these games were when they came out, and if they if they done well, basically, yeah. like yeah, that's that's a good idea. Battle Arena. Battle Arena Toshin. Battle Arena. Oregon. There it is. That's there. That. Yeah. Um, but yeah, came out in 1995 to 1996. Oh, this is even older than 20 years. Oh, really? Yeah, five. This came out on the fourth of July, ninety five. That could be Japan, actually. Fourth of January. What did I say? Ja- you said July. Ah, uh, they're the same thing, man. <laughs> what? No. If you it's just not... do one letter, they're the same. No, wait. Japan was January fourth. We got it on September twenty ninth. Again, ninety five. This is okay. it on the Game Boy. This is it on the Sega Saturn. It doing actually pretty well. Where are we? This it was... doesn't look that bad, like. But it, I don't know. It's a decent oh. enough game. This is, is, it, have, is f- it just a straight up arcade? Excuse me, is it just a straight up arcade mode? As far as I know, yeah. Oh no, there's a plot, apparently. So oh, I'm wrong. A young, <laughs> ja- young Japanese swordsman. Okay. Um, so it just seems, seems pretty similar. decent. Like. It's a f- it's fighting single player and multiplayer, yeah. This just says here, it was credited for taking the genre into the true 3D with the introduction of the, the sidestep side step. maneuver. That's exactly what I was thinking. So like in part- Mortal Kombat, do you know the way Mortal Kombat has that sidestep maneuver? This introduced the sidestep. Oh, this is like the first one, or the, yeah. the OG of Sidestep. This is where they came from, apparently. The original Sidestep game. That's there savage. Is That's how many cool. characters in this now? Remember, this is just one game and of 20 we're getting. Playable characters. So there's, there's also unlockable characters. There's two. The other three are from different systems. We have. I'm not going to try and pronounce any of these. E.G. Shinjo is the first one, I think. The protagonist of the series. Oh, they're all Japanese. A Scottish Japanese. bounty hunter. Hey, Duke B. Rambert. <laughs> and Ellis. And Ellis. You're also... Mondo. <laughs> <laughs> Mondo. There's a character called Mondo. The Japanese warrior who went up and the tournament. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, class. Go on, George. A ninja called Mondo. <laughs> Rungo Orin, Fao Fai, Sophia. I don't know. Japanese, I mean, these characters Japanese are all Russian, like, Scottish, all these like, trying to get in different parts actually of the world. Wanna, I'm curious now. I want to play this game. The that's sponsor so. and boss of the tournament, Goya. That's unlockable character. Show Shinjo is a secret boss, and these are unlockable. There's two extra. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Ten characters all together. Cool. If you played in the Sega Saturn, you got Cupido. 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 You also got Uranus. Uranus. <laughs> and if you played the That's PC, the Game Boy version. If you played the PC version, you got this character unlocked. What? Earthworm Jim? <laughs> no way, man. <laughs> His attacks are identical to those of Rungo Orange. What does he do? Earthworm fucking Jim. Rungo 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 Orange wow. is a miner. Oh yeah. I want to As play this it. game, man. <laughs> this is the PC version. We're not getting, sick, I never knew about this. We're not getting Cupid, though. Uranus or Erwin Jim, anyway. Oh, well. Still. Anyways. Well, we might do. Who knows? They might just pull them all into one game, you know what I mean? Get the PC version instead of the PS. Um, so, yeah, that's... Uh, 
80s, 8.5 is 10 out of 10, 9s out of 10, 20s out of 40s, 4 stars, 3 stars, 10s out of 10s. No way. Um, IGN gave it a 7 out of 10. It done well. Battle Arena, right? So that's Battle Arena. You know what? It might be a little fun thing to play. I'm curious now. I think I might fucking get this thing just yeah. for that game, you know? It's all I mean? 99 quid. For the whole thing? Yeah, for 20 games. That's pretty decent. That's pretty <laughs> that's pre- <laughs> I'm trying to think now. Hang on a minute. You can get these games for like 2 euro probably in CEX, you know? Uh, probably, yeah. I've never seen. I don't think CEX had a PS1 game. Yeah, I've never seen them. Did you not? I don't know. It could be wrong. It could be proven wrong. Know. Let's know. Coming up next is Kill Borders 2. I never played cool this. Cool Borders. I remember that game. Played it now. Yeah, it was Savage. I had it. It was one of the first ever PS1 games I ever had, actually. That and the next game on the list. We get, we'll yeah. get to that in a minute. Cool Borders was class, but I remember when I first had it, though, I was kind of too young to like understand how to play. Yeah. So it was like five or something. You know, so know. When did it come out? It came out in 98, so you weren't five. Well, so I wasn't five. Well, then I was just shit at the game. <laughs> so it would have been eight, like seven or eight. It been seven, yeah, February 4th. February, been seven. it would have been seven, so. That's crazy, but yeah, I remember playing the game and being incredibly fucking frustrated because I didn't know how to do the tricks or anything. All I could do was just catch air. Yeah, I never, I remember that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And go to the end of the slope. When you say that little cool borders, that kind of like runs in my head. Yeah, that's, that's from a demo. That was like the opening, the start menu. You I, know what I mean? never like that. played it. This to me looks like. Um, Sony could not get Tony Hawk's on the system because of music <laughs> so he went with Cool Bar instead it was instead. actually like if you figured out how to play it it wasn't bad I don't know I could go back to it it's just a downhill thing it could be thing. completely awful if you go back to it like but I don't know. I was never going to... Again, never played it. It's called Cool Borders 2 Killing Season in Japan. <laughs> what? <Well. the> f- <laughs> what? <laughs> Killing Season? Um, no way. I don't know. There's not really much about it on the wiki page. The wiki page is just like... It's blank just thing. snowboarding. It's just yeah. straight up snowboarding, man. There's nothing to it. They got 70%, 70.42% in game range. Yeah, there's nothing to it. Like, there's no story. Pretty much it. It's a snowboarding game. It's, it's pretty much here because... It was decent enough, though. Tony Hawk has too much music in the game for them to put it onto this so they yeah. couldn't get the licenses. Is that tr- actual... Like, is that real? Is that true? It has to be. Because Tony Hawk's 2 came out when... Hang on, let me do a quick Tony Hawk Google. Tony Hawk's... Uh, Pro Skater 2. Again, I'm not used to this one. I uh, wasn't, yeah. Number 3 was my intro. I played years. the second one, but it wasn't like. It was uh, just straight up skateboarding for you, yeah. much, you know what I mean? And there's no fucking. Yo, can I? There's no what? I'm trying to see what the. The date? Not the date. The. the um, ah. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a show to listen to. I'm looking for the, 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 the soundtrack. Soundtrack, okay. This. Why? Because this is like literally all see all these songs. Rage oh they have Rage Against the Machine on? Oh yeah, we all Papa Roach. Oh, here we go. Who else? No way. Rage Against the Machine, Bad Religion. Papa Roach, Powerman Five. Naughty by Nature. So you'd have to go back and get all of these. You have That's the license. Crazy, you have to get the license for all of these songs again. Fu Manchu. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's money. And that's pretty much yeah. Where well, you get the money for that? When you get cool borders. Cool borders. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, that came out in so Battle Arena came out in ninety ninety five. Cool borders ninety eight. And we don't want Tony Hawk. Cool borders came out when ninety eight. Ninety eight for us was it? That's what it said. Yeah, yeah. Ninety seven Japan. We got February fourth, ninety eight. Yeah. Um. Again, classics. Keep on our classic. We haven't like it's. Yeah. PS so, came out I'm not really too interested in cool borders anymore. <laughs> to yeah. be honest, like I just. It's just a basic one on the game. I think they just kind of sort of fuck it. You yeah. know what I mean? The next one, though, was actually not too bad. I, this this was, was another f- one of my first PlayStation games. It's Destruction Derby 2. Destruction Derby now. Oh, wait, this is only the first one? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was the second one. Um, I, maybe it was the... No, sorry. Yeah, Destruction Derby was the... I did have the first one. You did? Yeah. Just give me two seconds. This Very, one is this... There while this, had, this had like a class little... It was like a... The dome. The dome thing, the arena, yeah. destruction, fucking pit, whatever the pit, you call that's it. That's it, yeah. Pit. Just two seconds, I'm looking up something really And then quick. there was, yeah, you could do, that was kind of one of the first games for like car physics, was it? Um, you can on, break on the console, all parts yeah, you know the way the car, yeah. like the way the car could get smashed up, basically, you get told. Destruction but that was actually pretty decent going around in that pit thing just going yeah, that's the only mode I ever played smash you. <laughs> that's the only <laughs> mode I ever played. That was, that brought a good bit of entertainment. Um, what year was it released? This was released in October 1995. 95. Man, PlayStation was on a roll in 95. PlayStation was only out in 95. Was it? Yeah. And they, they kind of skyrocketed then, didn't they? They don't. Wait, let me let me do a fact check there. <laughs> I'm not sure, was it? PS1. Really? I couldn't tell you. 
day Europe. PS1 release date Europe. What? 94, 94 actually. Whoa. Sorry, we are wrong. 94. Well, that's Europe, hang on. That's yeah, in Europe. It's Europe. Oh, 94, December yeah. Toward 94. Wow. No way. Um, Sweet. So, Christmas, 97. Yeah. When you got a PlayStation. Is that when you got yours? I, can't, I think mine was 97, 97 as well. I'm 97. Sure. It has to be because I looked at the other game there. 1997. It could be 98. I get a PlayStation 1. With Hercules. Yeah, one of man. the best what games. Game. One of the best games. Well, Hercules was savage, man. <laughs> Ooh, the big uppercut thing that you did. Smash him. What are you doing? Off. Swing your sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was deadly. When Roll you think about it, it's actually. Concentrate. Yes, gas, man. So I got that. I got the PS. I got the PS One. I got Hercules off. Mommy and Daddy. Santi left me something under the tree. What? Destruction Derby. Destruction Derby. That was two games. Ninety-seven. Yeah, but you never wanted it because you were too busy playing Hercules. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Could never do the racing because I was shy at racing. Games. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't into the racing. I just and that pit I only mode. played the pit mode. Yeah. There it is. There. Oh, the bowl. That's what's called. Look. The bowl. The bowl. There it is. And I used to always play as him, the green car because he was number ninety-nine, <laughs> and. I played as him because he was a green car and I always played with the cheat code where you couldn't take damage. <laughs> oh, I actually never played with any cheat codes. And because of this game, I still remember the cheat code because it taught me how to spell the word damage. Really? Yeah, my dad said it to me. You say, that it's, was the cheat code. It's damage. Damage with one E. <laughs> <laughs> and to this day, when I spell the word damage, just go, damage no. with one E. And damage. then there's an exclamation mark at both ends of it. And that makes it, like, it, makes it invulnerable. Damage with one E. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> that's how we spell the word. It's like, when, it's like when people spell the word Wednesday, you go Wednesday. Oh, I do that. I actually do that. As people well. thought yeah, that when they came Wednesday. out of school, go, I learned how to spell Wednesday. Me, you know, it's one of those crazy. things you see on Facebook. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, that's one cool. of those pictures. You know, it's a screenshot. So, who back in the day used to spell Wednesday as Wednesday? I did. I, I was, like, ah, was taking the maids. Yeah. So was. Uh, but yeah, that's how two games. Destruction Derby was one of the first games. So that's Destruction Derby, and anyway, yeah, it's decent game. Pretty class. Next one is your fucking baby. But uh, real quick, 9 out of 10, 4 stars, 68, got really done well. Really? It done that well? A lot of people like number 2 more, but number 2 had, the bowl had like dead pits and all, and I didn't really yeah. like it. But again, that was just, yeah. It was a good game though. Destru so that's the that's <laughs> what game number 3. You see, the images always go, Destruction Derby. <laughs> Every time we say Derby, we put, we, we, derby. We put our shoulders up like, Derby. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dopes. Destruction Derby, man. <laughs> the next one needs no introduction. Best game of all time. Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII. Absolutely. Like, the system is worth this alone if you have not got this anywhere else. Uh, well, we all know about Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Well, like, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we all fucking First release in January to the 31st, 1997. Final Fantasy VII went on to become one of the best games of all time. <laughs> <laughs> but now... Well, to you. To you. Uh, wait, my opinion... I'm on the wiki here. Where is it? This is no one. I, probably, hang on. Yeah, go on. What are you saying there? Go on, I'll find it. No, I was just saying, I, I don't know. Like, um, Well, I wasn't really into the whole Final Fantasy franchise in general, but like, I'd say... in. Final Fantasy fans like any hardcore Final Fantasy fan would probably kill me for saying it but like I, I thought 10 was cool but that was my favourite one was 10 your first one? no 8 was my first one uh, um, that's probably why and now, was no, it 8? yeah eight. the one where you drive you had the gunblade of Squall Squall yeah yeah you had the gunblade that's right. the one yeah I played that one number 8 but I wasn't really into that one and then I thought 10 was really good Ten the is story Asia. of 10 was savage 10 is Asia but I'm just not into that that whole ten tone based yeah, but either way, the whole tone based thing. Ten wasn't was a for bit. Me. Ten was a bit different because you could see when people were coming in in ten, mm. and when people were going to attack. And if you no, were, you could not all the time. You could. It was on the side of the screen. You could see who was attacking. Really? And, yeah, and you could also. Ten was different. You could bring people in and then on the fly as well, so you could switch characters as they went. You yeah, didn't just have three, yeah, yeah. but like if one died, you couldn't replace them. Yeah. And I remember being against the boss, and I just had it down to a T. Where I kept switching Waka and Arden and Lulu and whatever. Arden was badass, man. And. No blitz ball and all. I could, uh, yeah. I was savage. I remember just inflicting darkness yeah. or something. I just. I was supposed to be talking about Final Fantasy VII. Blitz ball was a <laughs> fucking. No, what? Let's do that with um, some other podcast. That was a good old game. Let's do another podcast. The whole story of that was fucking amazing. Look right for that. What? About 10? Go back to the. No, another podcast. Just before we go back to what you're saying. Let's have a little podcast soon about games winning games. Blitz ball. Yeah, Went. that's a good one actually. Go for that. That's a decent idea. Yeah, coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but what were you saying? Yeah, the story and all. Yeah, 
But yeah, I don't know. Back to Final Fantasy Seven though. Which, oh, you were talking about yeah, but yeah, okay, yeah. Seven just ten seven. was the one that I ten. If I was to pick a Final Fantasy, it'd be ten. Like do you know what I mean? but, everyone uh, has their own. Like, but I because I never really played much. Like I know about seven and the story and all that. But well, actually, not all of the story I don't what? like of seven <laughs> I don't like it if I told you the story of seven you'd be like excuse me what yeah what? I, don't, I don't even I don't know man do you know what I mean I just never got into Final Fantasy so that's I left that one but 10's your favourite if I was to pick one yeah like overall I'm not into the turn based kind of stuff uh, but yeah 10 I thought was kind of look, that was enjoyable it's your, it's your opinion it's wrong but look. <laughs> <laughs> it's wrong okay do you remember uh, do you remember Titus laughing in this in the game oh no okay I'm gonna play it Titus for laughing there was what a you mean <laughs> laughing like why would I it's the same with him and Le- 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 Leonard just whatever like, Titus just goes what I do is I just make myself laugh okay yeah. I'm gonna play it now this is look it has like nearly 2 million views Titus is laughing 1 million 2, <laughs> nearly two million views. it's okay. just like, right, go, like go, what go, the I'll fuck is it this <laughs> yeah, shit what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> if you close your <laughs> if you close your eyes you can just picture some like crazy old woman sitting in a house or something with like a bottle of whiskey in her hand just cackling oh, oh, no, it sounds like the oh, Wicked Witch of the West or something I don't know it sounds crazy <laughs> man what the fuck kind of laugh oh, is that man. but yeah Final Fantasy 7 again it's it's, I don't know if it's the fact that it was the first Final Fantasy you played and it was Is Titus related to Cloud? No it's any just chance. don't worry it's about the big kind of similarities <laughs> there I'm just looking at a picture of them both now <laughs> I just saw him yeah I just uh, 10 is a good game it is a solid game if I ever went back and played it I would and you, can get the, you can get the HD remaster now with the PS4 oh really? and uh, if I had the time hmm. I'd pick it up that laugh <laughs> I know yeah <laughs> fucking <laughs> laugh ha <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, yeah. you'd be worried about somebody if they like laughed at you like that <laughs> like, you are right man what's, what's the story <laughs> well, yeah, that's Final Fantasy that's like a pure forced it, it, the whole point, angry laugh the whole point it is he tries to, he goes I try and force myself to laugh and then I just laugh but it's just like what yeah but it's that's that's just creepy nowhere. like but then the next one is they end up laughing anyway and then la 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 they go on to save the world they don't save the world he does she does blah 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 in 7 or 10 10 oh 10 right. Arden's dead the whole but time. yeah ten, 7 and anyway is the is uh, the whole game is on yes all three mean. discs all, th- <laughs> all three discs <laughs> and the next game is also obviously another fucking well known classic Grand Theft Auto Grand Theft Auto <laughs> this is your Grand Theft Auto fucking Grand Theft Auto what a game Grand Theft Auto uh, bring that sound effect up do you remember that shit when, well, the, the, <laughs> when you started in the game oh, <laughs> but remember we went the remember the, the cheese grater yeah that was in GTA London London yeah yeah, yeah that was a good one actually they should redo redo that that'd be a good one if yeah. they remade GTA the London Powers car the Union Jack on top of the because I like, think about it they could fit the entire map of London in, in a game I'm pretty sure they could make a GTA London you know what I mean like with the entire fucking London map could have been that would be pretty savage it's also known as the getaway yeah I know but it'd be better than the getaway <laughs> you know what I mean I mean I said never knew this what the PS version was, what, what, one of the versions had 8 players this is about GTA 1 yeah you could play as girls in the first one how there was uh, Ol- Olgara Katie, is this in the Devine, European version though Mickey no Playstation version only includes the male characters oh that what? is so weird and the PC version has female characters That so this is the f- the first That's GTA weird. is the only GTA that has a female protagonist. The very first one, yeah. Mm. Three, pe- three female. Four. Prote- four. Yeah, four eight, female protagonists. Four males, four females. That's crazy. Oh, I'm mad. GTA, you, needs yeah. no, GTA needs no introduction. Yeah, everybody knows GTA 1. 24th of October 1997. I still have my oh. original disc. <laughs> 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 do you remember the. Oh, do you remember the. Uh, the, the fucking. The Hick song. What Hicks song? The fucking the Elvis dudes? No, the fucking the hillbilly song. The <laughs> on the when you get into the car, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Most no, men I, I love the bikes. I used to love the getting on the bikes. Only one so big and heavy. 
to tore the dynamite will make them free. That was crazy, man. It, it was back was in that, 1849. That's not a real song, was it? Yeah, it's a real song. I used to listen to it. For real? Yeah. No way. I'm not playing it now in case we get copyright stricken. But yeah. Back but, in um, 1849. Now I used to like driving the bike, but the bike was too and hard. And then the, the scream would go out just as much. And it was the so thing hard to drive. Yeah. yeah, remember when we went back and played it there? It tried to play bad, it yeah. oh man it was hard it's fucking hard this is gonna be one you play for a few minutes and then you're gonna go fuck this cause it is a hard game to play but like it was like back in the day when we played it it was so easy was it though we played with cheats it was did you no. ever complete a level did yeah did you know you complete a level yeah I've never played this game without putting the cheats in no I did at never first did. I did but then I discovered the cheats and never, never went back <laughs> <laughs> but, but I remember still. Steve showed me this he had it on demo he goes play this game you just won over people and rob cars I was like what yeah, pretty much. But like, yeah. And look and how I torn down. Nothing happened to me. <laughs> Cunts. Yeah, but then you discovered that you had to do missions and it made it better. We're going to go water, water. Weird, mad game. But uh, that was, yeah. It was good fun back in the day. But do you remember fun. GTA 2? I do remember GTA 2. And that was to, better. Like, had they, had, had, I had that on PC. It was, can, and it was good on PC. I don't know if you can do it anymore, but the Rockstar website used to give these away for free. What, the GTA games? London. Uh, uh, GTA, GTA 2 and, and some tank it. game was free off the website a long time ago see but I'd, I'd rather play these ones on PC these they'd ones? be much easier to play with a keyboard because of how the overhead thing you know what I mean that's it's because I remember I had GTA it's, 2 it's, on it's PC tank and controls it was, as well what it's like tank controls you hold X to move and then whatever direction you're facing you walk in yeah direction. yeah that's, it's like a bastard version of the tank but it controls. was good on PC like it was a lot easier to control on yeah. PC you know what I mean um, I remember GTA 2. 2 was savage it was the first game I think I'm not sure if it happens in GTA 1 but if you stood still long enough your character had a smoke <laughs> did he? <laughs> yeah and you just saw like the little boat lighting up <laughs> you know what I mean like from the overhead view it was GTA dead. 2 is also an introduction of Clo uh, Cloyd, Cloud Speed Claude. oh really? yeah is he a Cloud in GTA 2? Yeah, Cloud Speed yeah because uh, did you ever see the intro of it? yeah that That's makes sense because you got a little blackjack and did you ever see the, the, the live intro of it? Yeah. It's uh, Jack Brandon there with yeah, East Enders I remember that now. No way, man. Yeah. That's <laughs> class. Oh, Jack Brandon. So, yeah. East Enders, he's Claude. He's the original Claude. GTA and East Enders are in the same universe. It's kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why they do. So you need to do GTA London again. Um, so, yeah, that's there's not really much. There's not, what else can we say about GTA? You know I what GTA say, is. GTA is like... I oh, yeah. still have the disc there. I actually don't... Do you know what the last mission in GTA 1 is? Um, no. <laughs> That's cra Actually, I, that just popped into my head. What actually is the last fucking mission on GTA 1? kill somebody or get a tank and do something. I've never completed it. Did you? No. I've never... Well, you, used to put the, you used to put the... Uh, hang the DJ cheat in. So you, when you start the game, you finish the level. And then you can just go and watch the end cuts in. Yeah, I just... I can't remember... I complete, think no I never did I never completed I GTA think it's one. El Broro is your, gives you the talk at the end the no. big fat fella with the did thing. I completed GTA 2 he's like hey yeah. you did it man actually that's another one GTA 2 you're gonna see two. why you call me the donkey <laughs> then he smiles at you and then I don't know what happens to you GTA 2 as well back to that was uh, also the introduction of the gangs mm -hmm. do you remember that you, you, there the was gang the Yakuza top left corner there was I can't the Zoibatsu. just remember the Zoibatsu was it the Zoibatsu Yakuza and, I don't know what the rest are and another gang but yeah and then it would not be triads if you were I think it was the triads yeah that's the okay kill. but if you were um, no I know the Yakuza, Yakuza were in it I know the Zubatsu were in it because they're in everything they were like they had their own vehicles and but uh, if you were like too friendly with one gang another gang you couldn't do the other gangs stuff, fucking yeah. yeah and it was yeah, Yakuza yeah Zubatsu Yakuza and the loonies the loonies they had a little smiley face yeah they were the crazy ones the green yeah. smiley like, face yeah bikers are weird <laughs> well, yeah that was that was that just just popped into my head too about GTA <laughs> okay. so anyway that's um, the next, next is we're gonna get so now we're all like oh I remember playing that oh yeah playing this that. next one I have no idea about man. Intelligent Cube or Karushi now if you never played this if you had Demo 1 and everybody had Demo 1 with Abe Jump and Flash oh, yeah. Karushi the, the, that screen with the T-Rex you could move around and all that everyone had Demo 1 Karushi was on this well, I never played it, man. And I was had that demo on it. You were a little small it. man on this big, huge fucking platform of blocks. And you had to delete blocks by putting it putting yeah, a square down. It. I just, yeah, it's strange. And if you got all the blocks down and you fell off the end of the level, a big voice went, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and if you fell off, you made the most death fucking... Horrifying scream. Like, ah! <laughs> ah! 
Ah! And there's nothing in the game but you, these big blocks coming towards yeah, you, and just the black I void. It's an odd game. Around with you. I never, I never even played it. I looked it up just before we came on there, and I was like, nah, it's no memories of this. Such a strange game to put onto this system. I can understand because it's a classic, and it could because it got bunged in with the PS One, but oh, the, the demo yeah, one. Like but it's... a classic in a sense. We'll get to it at the end. Does it say there's other games that could have been on this system, Barrys? Yeah. Does it say how well it done? This game, like, what's does, does it have a rating at all? Seventy-two uh, percent. What? It sold uh, seven hundred and fifty thousand copies, copies by, by the end, end of ninety-seven, and it came out in ninety-seven. That's fucked up. <laughs> People must have been bored in ninety-seven. That game is just like what the fuck? There was PS, the PSP, and the PS Two. Yeah, it was sequels. a remake. Oh, a sequel. I don't know, man. That's yeah. Get the fuck. There's not yeah. much else to say this. It's very hard it's to explain. It's basically just rinse and repeat and clear cubes. It's a puzzle a game. game. Like, yeah, it's, it's an IQ puzzle game. That's all we can say about it. I don't know. Maybe it's good. But I don't know. I had fun playing it. You won't see me go through the, the 100 attack mode and go through 100 levels, 100 blocks. Hell no. You're not going to see me do that. Good luck. Yeah, you're not going to no. see me do that. I'll put it in, have a laugh, and then I'll never touch it again. Yeah. Someone who comes <laughs> up and go, hey, do you remember this game? Ah, no. God. Good boy. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Intelligent Cube, Sorry, we already knew you. Intelligent Cube. The next cool, one well. is another, another one I'm not familiar one, with. I think. Um, Jumping Flash. Jumping Flash. Is oh, this, I don't know this one. You're this rabbit, robot rabbit, mm. first person game where you jump around and can bounce everywhere. Yeah. This was bunged in with the PS. It looks it, fun. I'm pretty sure it's on demo one as well. It looks fun. Oh, look, there's, there's, some, there's some of that Cube game in that's it too. That's pretty fucking strange. <laughs> in the picture, that's <laughs> weird. Jumping fucking Flash. This holds the world record for the first platform game in true 3D. Oh, really? That's probably why it got put on. Ah, I see. This came out to us in 29th of se September at 95. You were okay. four when this came out. No way. Yeah, where's that? Four? Oh, yeah, that's. I don't remember it though. That's probably why. But, uh. Yeah. A minus. A minus. It got a 279 out of 300. Yeah, what the f Who rates out of 300? Game Who's Game Fan? Game Fan. Know, the fuck is a publication starting in the 19th. This must be gone. I don't know. Game, whoever Game Fan is, right? They are, they Game Fan must be gone. Are you gone? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> yeah, that's, they're what gone. Rate, that's what you get for rating games out with 300. Yeah, in. fuck you. Um. <laughs> a minus? Who gave it an A minus? Game, game Revolution. IGN gave it a 7.5 out of 10. I don't know. Maybe it was good for its time. He's just bouncing around the place. It's very ugly to look at now. It doesn't look great in any way. It's yeah, very, it's, very ugly to look at now. That's just one picture. It's very like, but still, that's what's it called? Jumping flash. Jumping flash. I'd say it'd be good for kids though. Um, kids would get some crack out of it, like you know what I mean. It's just this. It's just it's. I don't know how yeah. to explain it. It's 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 a game where you jump around, literally. Just you jump, jump up, you, jump up, and get down. Yeah, jump around. <laughs> but no, it's really it's just so much on the eyes. You're like, oh man, give me a second. What's going on? It might be a. Uh, I don't know, it might be decent. The next one though, Needs the no next one is an absolute cracker. And Let's set the scene before we say. That's going to take a while to finish. It's, what, wait, no, no, hang on, wait, I put the wrong thing in. It's had to give, me the, it's had to, it's had to give me the original. <laughs> yeah. The original came out in 87, no. 1998. 1998? September 3rd. You're playing a game. You've never played this before, you don't know what you're doing. And you're like, hey, what is this? Hey, what's going on here? What's going on? What is this game? What am I doing? You throw it in. All of a sudden, there's like this big intro. There's this mad thing. And like, I'm going to go over. I'm going to kill this guard. And what happens? This happens. Oh, shit. It caught me. <laughs> it's Metal Gear. It's Metal Gear, lads. Metal Gear is solid. Whole game. Metal Gear. All the two discs. Whole, all two discs. On the one console. Yep. So. That'd be good. No that's, introduction. That's, I'm glad that they put that on. This is a good game. Yeah. Like, no it be, it's, in a way, like, because... Like a lot of the new generations and stuff don't know about this shit, you know what I mean? About Metal Gear. So hopefully they'll get this and be intro introduced to the original. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, like, this is the toured Metal Gear game. But this. What? What? What's your name? Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2, which is about Snake fighting Big Boss in oh, Zanzibar. Yeah, yeah. And fighting Grey Fox in Zanzibar and all that. Zanzibar Island. Yeah. And uh, Outer Haven. So. Oh, really? Was yeah. that on PC, like? Or no, something? It was on the. Um, like, Nintendo and what? the Amiga, yeah. So no this, way. You know all those stories about. I never fucking played those. So you know where all the stuff's about Big Boss and Snake Point Big Boss yeah. and Ray Fox. That all happened back in eighty seven and eighty nine. And instead of just this is the next chapter of Snarl Snake, and instead of just forgetting about all that, yeah, that's all part of the history still. Oh. So if you ever played Metal Gear Four, 
uh, with the guns of the Patriots. The one where you're old. Yeah. And do you ever see in the cut scenes you can mash X and you can get flashbacks to other games and it's yeah. in the graphics. Snake will get flashbacks to Metal Gear, like Metal Gear. The original one. The original one. And the flashbacks is the Nintendo graphics of him crawling and like 8 bit and all that. No because way. they were his memories, they were the gamers' memories. Yeah, yeah, I get you. You get the yeah, same yeah. memories. This, it was, it was, it's what Hideo Kojima did. He just wanted to continue the story with a retcon. That everything. was Savage Man Metal Now, we did eventually off. start retcon and stuff later on because he, was only, he only wanted to make this and then be done. Yeah. And then he ended up making four other games he didn't want to make. Why? He just wanted to do one game and he was done. Then he made number two and then that was the end, be all end all. And then he was watching number three get made and he went, no, I'm going to step in and do this. And then he made number four and he had to tie up all the loose ends of number two. He didn't want to answer and a lot of shit just doesn't make sense anymore. Really? Yeah. Like what? Like For example. Give for me example, example. Um, at the end of number two, the whole thing starts going haywire. The, the AOA starts kicking off. Yeah. And then Rose is part of the AOA as well. Okay. So Rose never existed. But at one point she must have existed because Horn and Snake have a back and forth number four as if they yeah, talked yeah. on the big shell incident. I get you. It's like, that couldn't have happened because you were you were said you were an AOA and you got kidnapped blah 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 it's like that couldn't have happened but it did happen yeah. it's so it's fucking it's strange fucking just fucked he it up. never way, though, he never okay. wanted to make another <laughs> game and then he had to tie up these loose ends and it's just very like okay still, still number 4 is my favourite Metal Gear game that is that anyway, was yeah that was savage back to Metal Gear Solid 1 I'll never forget the first fucking mission man amazing it, it took me I don't know how long it took me ages to get past that first we've talked about this before mission. we're not, talk, know, we're not yeah. talking about the lift we're talking about the helipad aren't you I said that yeah, yeah. The, I said this already that that little where the spotlights are in the yeah. helipad it took me ages to figure out you could either go through the door because <laughs> like, I never actually went through the door I always tried to sneak or crawl through that little vent there's a vent downstairs and there's a vent upstairs the no, downstairs can't go through the main door the downstairs one. The downstairs vent well then the it's the vent upstairs. <coughs> that's yeah. what I'm yeah you can go the upstairs to where the door is and go through that vent but I never actually went up there so I just assumed that you could probably go through the door or something you sneak under the truck to get your at the time out. you know what I mean the first entrance I found was that little vent yeah. on the on the ground but it took me so long to do it because I didn't know where to go I was like what do I do like, I kept getting caught all the time one of the <laughs> one of the big famous lines out of that is whose footprints are these <laughs> yeah what Whose footprints are these? Do you know this is the only area? That is the only area in the whole them, game. They go, uh, uh, yeah. uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Do you know that helipad part? Yeah. That is the entire, you know, the entire game, that is the only part where a soldier can see your footsteps in the snow. Really? Yeah. There's nowhere else going to footsteps. After that, there's no. There's no other snow you step in that a, f- a soldier can see your footprints. Are you sure about yeah. that? Yeah. Swear to God, man. It's such a big huge thing. You can see wet footprints later on. But everyone always goes about them, like the snow footprints. Everything that's like through the whole game. That yeah. is the only part. That one soldier to the right is the only part that you can see our footprints. That's crazy. And it is such a big like, huh? Whose footprints are these? Yeah, it's like, oh no, you can see me footprints. I think like, there's, there's, like, there's like wet footprinting, like walks in puddles. But mm. that, everybody always associates and the same to, thing. Kind of everybody happens. associated with snow throughout the entire game. Yeah, it's not. It's that one fella. That one only fella is the only fella that can see our footprints. Do you remember the mission in it where you're getting tortured and yeah. you had to keep button mashing to to like survive it that's where the uh, that's where the, the game splits that was a that like is there any way to survive that yeah Can mash you, circle I couldn't I never <laughs> fucking did it I just couldn't hit the fucking thing fast enough I don't know that was one of the very meta things as well because us like I was don't use a turbo pad because I don't know yeah and, like, what? and goes I hope you saved your game because you're not going to be able to reload from here there's no checkpoints you'll have to reload your game yeah I'm and you're like what and you're in the cell and all he said, because he says I hope you, you have saved ketchup your, he goes I hope you saved your game and is that what you have to you, you put ketchup on yeah, you don't Johnny you Johnny comes yeah. in and sees you the fella through every game who gets, the, who gets the shits that's Johnny oh yeah yeah <laughs> Johnny Sasaki who <laughs> ends up wrongs, uh, yeah. who ends up marrying Myrtle at the end of the fourth game no way yeah like because he takes his mask in number four you see him he's taking a shite in the fucking yeah. barrel and then he takes that's off his crazy. mask and he's a pure pretty boy you're like what what the hell? You're the fella with the runs in. So you know that fella who you see his arse hanging Yeah, he's that idiot guy. That's the same like. fella who marries Myrtle at number four. That's fucked it's up. It's not fucking weird, <laughs> <No way. laughs> But um, what I want to know is, in this, so if we get the PlayStation mini box, a Metal Gear screenshot has to be on the back. And it can only be one screenshot. Snake? No. No? It has to be Myrtle's codec number. What? What do you mean? How do you get Myrtle's number to ring her? Cornell goes check the back of the check the back of the CD box really so you pick up the game case yeah your actual Metal Gear game case and you turn it around and it says this is Metal Gear Solid in this game and at the bottom there's three little pictures yeah one of them is Snake talking to Myrtle 
and you have to literally and look at that the, the code and type in one four zero point one five. Now, how do you still remember the fucking number? Because it's the same code through every game. They no never change their codes. Really? But that's always it's implanted in your head because the PS One was infamous for being ported and chipped. So everybody had a chipped Metal Gear game. Yeah. It's on the back of a CD case, and you just pick up their game case, and it's just white paper and like. What? Oh shit! <laughs> but also at the same time, we had like a floppy disk in your inventory. Yeah. And I swear, we went everywhere to the computer trying to use the floppy disk. Going, it's on the back of this somewhere because it's like CD, K, or CD something. Yeah. It's lit. It's literal. It's four wall break. The game, man. the fourth wall is broken. That's actually class. You gotta go over, pick that, up though. your game box, and go. Yeah. Here it is. Remember, you had to take it when you were playing against Psycho Mantis. Are they going to do the same thing? Are they going to do the same thing here? Remember how are they? Yeah, are they going to do that actually? I wonder. There's no vibrate, so you can't move your control pad on the ground. What do you mean? Because he used to go, "I'm going to show you with so you put your control." He tells he tells Snake, "Put your controller on the ground." Oh yeah. So you put it down, <laughs> and then he starts going, yeah. and then your control pad will start going. Yeah, yeah. And then he goes, "I can read your memory card." And if you played any other Capcom uh, Konami games like Castlevania, yeah, yeah, Symphony of the Night and all that, he'll go, "I'm going to read your memory." And if you have one of them games, you go, you like to play Castlevania. Yeah. And you're like, whoa. <laughs> really? Then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy shit. That's mind blowing. That's not what a games in this, so. <laughs> Holy shit. And at the same time, um, Naomi, if you, whatever is put in the game, you can ring Naomi and she goes, do you want a massage? <laughs> and she goes, put the controller up to your arm. And you oh, and it starts vibrating. And it starts vibrating. That's yeah. crazy. They're not that stuck on me in the game. These are original pads with no jewel shock. Yeah. But oh that's mad that's like, if the box is going to be like holy shit what if the Playstation box is like an old Playstation box the white kind of bluey game and you turn it around and it has all the different pictures of games on it that you could buy possibly Do you remember that day mm. and it's, but it's like 20 pictures of yeah, all the games yeah, all the different. it has to be Merrill's codec number just to keep that thing well that's yeah I don't know because how else are they going to put it into the game it's 15 you, know you, I mean? you literally have to click 15 times over or it could be, <laughs> in, the, it could be in the pause menu or something I don't know somewhere yeah, uh, this came so out anyway. yeah, September third. There's no other introduction. Metal Gear. It's a class game. It still holds up to this day. Bit. It's a little janky. It's a little what? It's a little janky. Janky. What do you As mean? As in janky? controlling and ah yeah, but like you gotta still. hold. You gotta hold down three buttons to shoot and all that kind of thing. Do you? You have to hold down R one and then you gotta oh, press yeah. square you to have shoot. To press square to shoot. Yeah. And then it's, it's the aim like and shoot like it's yeah, but still a good game. It was good. You will be able to go back and play that one. And the little one two kick combo. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the final fight is a load of shit down that because it's just the same. When you're on that platform. You're on top of Metal Gear, yeah. fighting liquid, yeah. The fucking platform on Metal Gear. <laughs> then you run away. Then <laughs> 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 still, man, that good that when Grey Fox saves you, man, I was like, no, how sick he does. You can't even shoot. I was like, no, I can't do it. It's the fight with him was harder than the one with fucking That's on top of Metal get Gear. That, I what? don't get that. Grey Fox, he can block all your bullets. Yeah, man. He like, can, was, he I can remember go standing everywhere. there trying to shoot him, like, riddling him, and he was like, doo, 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 doo. Was like and he what the hell? Helicopters everywhere nearly. Yeah. And, and then, you can, all you can do is one, two, kick. And what <laughs> do you do? You go away. up and you give him a straightener. Yeah. yeah Why can he not block the straightener? He can teleport around you, and all of a sudden you're like, go. Yeah, I know. You can punch him, but you can't shoot <laughs> Come here, Grey Fox. He's just a, yeah, but you that was. Punk. Do you remember the first time you see him and all and he has your man up on the sword? They're like, it's a ghost <laughs> and all. And it's oh, that hallway? Yeah. Like, and then like your radar doesn't work either. Yeah. And you're like, oh, what's, oh, going, what's on? going on here? And then he starts going ballistic. <laughs> hit me, snake. It's a savage. Like he 50 was, shades he of grey fox. He's like, <laughs> hit me, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he's my favourite character in it though. Grey fox? Yeah, he was beast, man. Badass. Grey fox! Anyway, moving so, on. Moving on. Next <laughs> game. I don't know this next Mr. game. Oh, I kind of know it. This nice. is it's a weird game you got to dig away down not much to say about it I played it on demo yeah that's all I know that was it that's all I know I played it on demo not much to say it's Mr. Very Driller very just, very yeah. colourful you might get a good night out of it you're just drilling blocks like it's kind of tetris looking and you just drill down it says it right there it's like dig dug meets tetris yeah you got to dig down not make sure a block's fall on your head and pick up health dig dug do you remember dig dug that was a good game mm. dig dug <laughs> that was class that was that's all it is you might get a good night out of it you your your fella your board sit down have a game with Mr. Driller you might have a good crack out of it yeah Just pass the pad kind of thing yeah October Bit 99 Mr. Driller October 99 Mr. Driller before you dr- no I can't say yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyway so right, thank you next game next one needs There's another no. fucking oh. banger Introduction, Another classic game. Um, I don't know why this is on it though. Wait, why? What do you mean? 
because this the re-release of this is you can get this oh that's true it's odd world abe's odyssey re, 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 yeah re, actually re, i didn't even re. just what you just said there though with the re-release i didn't think about that yeah, yeah. what was the, the point putting different. that on it if the re-release is there this is the original version this is a fucking hard game yeah but it's class there is very little saving in this game there is yeah man that's the is one thing if you die there is no checkpoints in oh, this game there is man. but they're very fu- like this is a hard fucking game mm. this is kind of like this is 97 this came out September 97 was it? yeah this is a hard game yeah but it's a good game it's a good game but this is hard this is a unforgiving game yeah Oh, fuck the second game fixed them problems, but this is the re- this is the original, and this is gonna be hard. It even says it right here. It has a steep learning curve, and you can like you can only save at checkpoints. So mm-hmm. if you get far, you gotta keep going until you see that fucking checkpoint that symbol. Save coming. point thing, yeah. It is so hard. I know. I it is very. A lot of it is very. Um, oh, what's the word? Where you die and you learn from your mistake. Um, oh, Repetitive. Like, oh my god what is the word what do you mean like it's there's a, there's a word you? There's, yeah there's a, there's, a, there's a certain phrase schooling no it's like you'll, you you only know we're dying and then you can go back and do it again oh. what like resurrection no <laughs> talk there for a second I don't know talk man it doesn't matter either no, way the game is fucking second. hard talk away there that's for a second that's the point do you know what I mean um, it makes no bleeding difference but still I remember the enjoyment I got out of that game though that was good like the, like the original do you remember how dark it was though yeah do you remember how the fucking like the opening trailer of it and all it's all done on Ryan you watch it again this it's it fuck, wraps your arms yeah but it's it's actually really fun I remember watching that like feeling like really gloomy you know what I mean it was a fuck it is though because it's all those they're all getting slaughtered and all like it's like Jesus this is really fucked up it's all like it's all um, like a big slave race and you know but like it, it really emphasizes on how bad they get treated in it you know what I mean it's like fuck it's it's a horrible place to be <laughs> those big fucking things with no arms like the enemy things and all yeah and they're going through all like all the all the foods being they're all becoming being fucking processed extinct and all yeah so they, they all have their own things and they're making new docking pops which is just their heads on a stick <laughs> it's horrible yeah it's fucking it's what pretty rough like would change my life <laughs> it's all done in Rhyme <laughs> is it? yeah he's, he's Abe that's speaks actually, Rhyme that's another game I never completed though it's very hard my I dad never, actually I never my dad it. used to fucking finish them had two endings as well did it? yeah depending on how many you save you a didn't good save and enough. a bad one if you yeah. didn't save enough you got sacrificed at the end by all the Dawkins really? yeah but you could save them all like yeah you're a saviour no way <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, fuck you you didn't save enough of us pal <laughs> yeah. you're gonna die that's uh, crazy but, um, but either way that was a good game I can imagine a lot of kids being frustrated with it though, but still. They're very fucking hard. Okay. Right. I'm trying to get What's the name the of this fucking. Thing. Are you still looking for the name of that Oh my god, I've said this phrase so many times. What and do now, you mean? I don't. You're still looking for this fucking phrase, Louis is just obsessing over it now. What is the fucking name of this thing? It doesn't matter. It does matter, but it doesn't matter. It's just fucking. Think of it oh later. My god. You've broadcasted it. It's sure wrecking me and I can't have a train at all. Right. Anyway, next game. I can't believe that. That's wrecking your head. <laughs> it's like the only way you can like the only way you can learn to play the game is because any time you die, that's the way you know how to play it. You know what I mean? Redeem yourself. Oh, man. I don't know, man. I don't know what the fuck. <sighs> Doesn't matter. Shut up. <laughs> so, be, if anybody's listening to this and knows it, they're screaming at it. I'm so head. fucking ah. salty right now with myself, man. <laughs> but yeah, it's a hard game, but it's it's one to play. Also, the remake is out there. The, yeah the remake though would be better I'd say in fairness like. it is better it addresses all that but uh, sometimes though some of it is different it's more brighter yeah there it's is there more, is change the music is different too doesn't look as gloomy even the voice of Abe is different no it's the same fella it's Laura, nope. Laura, Laura, Laura yeah it's the same fella the voice is it well either he sounds Laura, different it's been 20 years like since he did it I suppose it still um, sounds different though I don't know Lauren like. <laughs> something's name is and uh, what am I going to say um, even the same like no the imagery yeah. Not a Midoc and Pops, it was like a Midoc and head on a pike. Yeah. Now it's like it's like a blue always pop out little eyes on it. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they kinda cushion it. Bit. Yeah, but that mm. makes more sense. Like a Midoc and Pop was a head on a stick, and I was like, that's not really advertising. Where everything else looked like a poi and that thing was I like I suppose, yeah, they did look messy. So up. this time they kinda look kinda like Ah, oh, that's kinda nice. Yeah. But anyway, that's our odd ob- ob- world. Odd ob- ob- world ob- Abe's Odyssey. Coming up next is Rayman. Rayman Rayman was good I liked Rayman but I didn't play enough of it Like I always remember it's a hard game I bought it for the score back in 
whenever it came. When did it come out? No, yeah, 95 it came out. I bought it in 98 for a score. It was platinum. 20 pound? 20 pound. 20 pound? A platinum game. What? Yeah. That's fucking... You paid 20 pound for that game? No, my dad did. Holy <laughs> shit. Well, yeah, but like... Still, that's um, a lot of money for a game back then. It was a, it was a platinum as well, so I know when it was out for a while. Yeah. All I remember is any time you cleared a level, Rayman would just like go, yeah, yeah. And it was like, I just do, liked do, the do. way you could throw digs like that. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Bam. <laughs> and it hit you from far away. <laughs> yeah, it was decent. That game was. It I liked is Rayman. Fucking hard as balls, man. Another game though, I never finished. That is hard as. Balls! I got the stage here, the, the band stage. It's such a hard game. Man. Really? What do you yeah. mean band stage? Everything's made out of music. Oh, like just drums, right. I drums, get you. and yeah. it's such a hard game. Man. Never yeah, finished but it. it was good. Never finished it. Freeing all your little people, friends. Yeah. With stuff going around, break, smashing cages. Mr. Dark. No problem. Mr. Dark. Yeah, I remember that candy chateau. Yeah, never finished it. The game myself. No, I never finished it either. I do remember <laughs> the mosquito. Game. The fight against the mosquito, the, the big huge mosquito you had to fight against, and then you ride them on. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? That was good. Yeah, they ride them like in a side scroller kind of thing. Mm. Well, that's Rayman, and anyway, that's also there. September fourth, ninety five, and that's like what twenty five. Rayman's twenty three. No way. That is. I wonder why they call it Rayman. Hmm. Shall we find French. out? French. Could be a French thing. I don't know. Rayman. Why is he called Rayman? Maybe Ray Ban. <laughs> Made him. Rayman. Rayman. What is it called? Yeah. Raymond. Maybe his name is Raymond. Raymond. <laughs> Maybe it's actually Raymond and we are all saying it wrong. Imagine. It's Raymond. <laughs> What's up, Raymond? That's his name. It's yeah, Raymond. Yeah, because yeah, there's no dash in there. There's no hyphen in there. It's not Raymond. It's Raymond. Uh, Maybe that's a thing. That could be legit. <laughs> his name is actually Raymond, not it's Raymond. Character. It doesn't say where his name is. It doesn't say from. the pronunciation of it either. Big nose and beady eyes. Yeah. Quite simple. Anyway. Right, doesn't so say, that's yeah. Man. Doesn't matter. What's the next one? What's the, oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm stalling here. I'm stalling, just wanted to find out. There's not much to say Rayman. It's, just, it's, it's Rayman, a, everybody knows so it. Side Scroller. It went a bit weird with the rabbits in his later years. Mm. And then, yeah. Um, hard Side Scroller, but again, it's one of the 20 games for you to pop in and try. So, the next one, again, needs no introduction. It is... Resident Evil. The Director's Cut. The Director's Cut. Yeah. This is a bit strange. That game was pretty scary though when it first came out, man. It scared the shit out of me. Yeah, no, the director's cut is different. How is it different? The director's cut is. Well, the director's cut has a bit more. Uh, look at that one. That's, that's a Resident Evil. Has a bit more what? That's a Resident Evil 2 picture there. See that? that in the background? That's, that's pretty fucking that's, scary. That's We're looking at the website now. That's a remake. We're looking at the wiki. So. The wiki, yeah. Uh, this is. Lots of stuff that was. Uh, um, What's the word? Censored. It was uncensored for this version. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. It was also in a range mode. So if people played the game, and yeah. knew the game, they could play a range mode and it switched shit around in the gaff. Mm. So items were in different locations instead. Oh, okay. So it gave you a different way of playing the game. Oh, you just remember the look that that fucked up eyeballs on this the thing dude here, on the yeah. cover. Yeah, the big angry looking face. Or not. Like, I don't know. Sure. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> Um, there was an auto aiming system put into it, and I don't know. But now, I, is it this one now? There's a soundtrack in the game. The original soundtrack. There's a soundtrack. Yeah, I never forget where you walk down that corridor and the fucking dogs burst through the window, man. That's Resident Evil One, isn't it? Shit. Yeah, man. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking shit of it. Dude, and the in the remake, time. they they tease on all the remake they did. You oh, go down that yeah. corridor again as you're walking down the corridor. Mm. The window just cracks. Oh really? It bust. The window, but if you if you loop the same way, the window never busts. Yeah. But if you walk back the opposite way, it does bust. Then it bursts open. All right. That's good. That's um, pretty good. The way they do that. Resident Evil. Say, I'm gonna play this music. Why? Resident Evil. Because there's a there's a difference. Because when you hear it, Resident Evil One soundtrack, I'm gonna play a little bit of this. Oh thanks. Oh what's that? Siren. Sirens everywhere outside. Um. Okay, so. So it's just a little bit of music here. If I can get it. To yeah, play. we're trying oh, to just shit, look up man. the soundtrack for Resident Evil here. Yeah. Let me get it just an ad. Two seconds. Oh, never mind it. Um, but there's a reason why I'm showing this. Why? Because the director's cut has new music because they lost the rights to it. Oh, really? What? How? 
How did they lose the rights to it? Jesus, Jesus man, the graphics are actually no fucking so bad. So let me just skip in. Just looking at it now. Can we get some? It's actually. So here we go. You hear what's I don't there? know how. How? It's mad how you were afraid of this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Back in the day. The zombie reveal in this game where he turns around and he's bloody in his mouth. Yeah. It still scares me to this I, day. It was that, do you remember that? Like, that was. Do you hear that? Yeah. Do you hear the way it's like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's, okay. that's fucked up. That's yeah. actually quite scary. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty creepy. Uh, what, is this the new one now? Yeah. That's the old one, so. That's the original. Yeah. You ready to hear this shit? Okay, this is the new one. Oh, fuck me, man. This is ridiculous. What? Okay, what is this? Lower that a bit. What the fuck is that? Ah, uh, yeah. What is this shit, man? Is this the new one? This is the director's cut music. Why? <laughs> oh my god, man. Turn it off, turn it off. Seriously, that's bad. Man. Yeah, so that's that so my bad. um that's my fear of the director's cut. Now, I don't know what fully, but I know that's one of the big differences is the music, and that's one of the things with it. That's bullshit. Um, I'm know, gonna play it again. No, I played okay. I played the remake one, and that's how I played Resident Evil 1. I've never played the original like this. Things that there's enemies and bosses in the one in the remake that I played. I was talking to people who only played the original, they were looking at me going, Who? What? What are you fighting? What the fuck? What's a mask? What's going on? And he had no idea. So, we're gonna speed through the next few because we don't know them, and we wanna currently keep this at the hour mark. Yeah. So, next up is uh, Persona Revelations. I don't know much about that either. Don't know much about it. Nothing. I know number five came out and it was rave reviews and stuff like that. It's a JRPG. There's not much yeah, we can say I don't know. Persona. There's nothing, nothing I can say about it either. I don't know anything about it at all. Um, Ridge so, Racer Type 4. Ridge Racer Type 4 was good. I had that. Never played it. I remember Ridge Racer. It was a Type 4 I had. I think it was. But it was decent. I, it was a good racing game. It was probably the only racing game I think I got stuck into really like. Because I'm not a big racing game fan at all. But, this uh, is Demolition Derby. Demo that and Demolition destruction Derby. Derby or Destruction Derby. But we got it in. Um, Ridge Racer was alright. It's pretty much straight up racing. Yeah, we got us in 99. Yeah. They're not much. They were, it's, just, it's Ridge Racer again. Never straight played much. Straight forward racing. Never. But it was good. It was actually good for its time. Like 99. Yeah, I remember for Jesus. its time it was pretty decent. The fucking PS2 game of the year, either. Really? Yeah. That's strange. Um, next one I don't know I got so I read this wrong and I jumped up for joy and what then I realised it? it wasn't what it fucking was oh. Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo Super I thought Puzzle we were getting Fighter. a Street Fighter Turbo game on the fucking SNES on the Mini it looks like Street Fighter this it's is it's basically it looks like a rip off of Street Fighter I, it's no it is a Street Fighter game oh it is a, a Street yeah Fire. Super Puzzle Fighter sorry that's because I was looking at it and I was like that's fucking Ryu right there <laughs> like, I the don't cover. know what this is it's basically Street Fighter Tetris. I don't know. It That's looks, pretty much what it looks, looks like. There's people here with like big blocks. And yeah, but like it's a, like a kind of Tetris meets Street Fighter. I don't know. Pretty much. Yeah. That's exactly what it looks like. Apparently this going to be really fun. I don't know. I don't know. Either way. Not much so to say about yeah, it. Yeah. 96. Yeah. I don't know. Next one is a game where we would love. Oh, this is a cracker. We would love a remake. Of this I think this but is one of the best games on the list, man. Siphon Filter. Siphon Filter. I still have the original. What a game, man. That was savage. Gabe. Gabe Logan. Gabe Logan. 99 it came out. No way, was it? 99? Yeah. 9, 8, 9. Studio. That was a savage game, though, man. I was only watching the trailer for it. You were watching the One of the game, missions yeah. there. That was, that was Beast. Yeah, like, it was. That was, had hours of entertainment with that game. Wow. I actually never completed it, though. Oh, you did? I didn't. I never completed it. Taking out Romer. But um, that was a good game, yeah. For its time as well, like even the fluidity, the physics. Really hard. It's alright, like. Really hard. Um, it's the controllers now are geek. Remember that? Yeah, but the little dive and roll you could do. <laughs> yeah, you could dragon roll, you know what I mean? It was, yeah, it was cool, <laughs> like. That was deadly. Well, yeah, not much else. So even feel that it's one of those games. That was a classic, yeah. If you're going anybody... to put on and taste someone and then you're not going to play it again. <laughs> if you get that mini PS, play that. Definitely yeah. play that. It's good. A little soil's pistol. Pew, pew. Um, we we touched on this already last podcast Tekken 3 ah yeah that's that's hands down that's that. what we were saying about Battle Arena we don't really know why they put Battle Arena on it if Tekken 3 is on it because yeah. Tekken 3 dominates it two different games but still Tekken 3 was savage man absolutely savage can't beat it like in terms of retro fighters it's one of the best out there so Tekken 3 is a, is a win 
Yep, yeah, that's good to that's have. Again, it was, one of the, it was one of the original five released. Cool. Next is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. I never played Rainbow Six. I played this. Like, not the original, I never played it at all. Yeah, I played this. This is hard. This is a hard game. Rainbow Six? Yeah. I heard it, like, I remember when it came out, it was huge. You play as three like, it different was characters. really big. It's a first person game, you try to play as three different characters. Oh, really? And it's like nearly like one hit kills. It's just as hard as Siege is. And you control all three of them. Siege is good, though. I actually like Siege. Like, so. I think Siege is. You enough, like. take out like houses, mm. so you got to position all three of your characters. Yeah, it's tactical, like, and you control all three at the same time. No way. And you got to breach and all that. It's so fucking hard. It reminds me of the first person version of that uh, desert. Which desert strike desert? Desert. Remember we talked about that like spec ops. That yeah, remember spec, the, 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 sh- the shitty PS One version. Game? Yeah, it kind of reminds me of PS One version, and just from pure difficulty. Yeah, Spec Ops was good. That was I, I thought it was alright, but then I suppose if you go back to it, it's probably not alright. Yeah. The draw distance and all was really bad. <laughs> um, and next one Next is, one, this needs no introduction. Well, well it kind of does. I don't, I never played it. Neither did I. But I played really? the, I didn't did. play this, not this one. I played, no. this is Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal. But I played Twisted Metal Black. That was the only one I played. Is that PS2? It was, I think it was PS2, yeah. Um, but I never played the original. A lot of people say, "Why is this on it? Why is the PA- why is number two not on it?" Apparently, the second one's meant to be miles better. Oh really? I don't know. Because this is the original, I suppose. But I um, don't know. Anyway, yeah. <coughs> story mode. Apparently, I don't know. There's a story <laughs> mode. You're playing one player. Must be oh yeah, there's a plot and thing. stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, that's Twisted Metal. Twisted I, metal. I can't really say much about that one either because um, I don't know. Much Ninety-five about it. again, same with the classic era, nothing. Yeah, I think the lo- latest we have is 99. There's none of those like late blooming PS1 yeah. games. Which but I heard it was all actually decent though. I think Ward, nice. Ward played it where he said it was good. I never played it. So I, I don't know. I played Twisted Metal Black and that was already so. 989 made number two. There's many people who made Siphon Filter. Really? Mm, or yeah. developed it. They were doing well. And then the last one's Wild Arms. Wild Arms? That's another one I don't know. Wild Arms Wild is Arms. a JRPG. Really? Yep. Another okay. turn based game. Oh, wait. I think I do know it's this. It's a turn based game. Yeah, it's it's like Final Fantasy kind of. No, never played. Meets it. Zelda. <laughs> That's kind of what it is. It. Um, in a way, I suppose. It's a two D sprite overworld and three D fighting. As in, yeah. like it's three D models. Yeah, I get you. I've never played this. No, I've never played it either. It. I'm just it, looking at this uh, the screenshot. I think it's really big. I can um, imagine. RPG fan gave it. Although it's not Final Fantasy Seven. It looks IGN eight out of ten. I think it's going to be a good game. Like a lot of people enjoy this game. But I don't know if it's just because of rose tinted glasses, nostalgia glasses, you know what I mean? Like nostalgia goggles. Yeah. I don't know about the time to put into a JRPG now. Not, not for the PS1. I anyway, don't know. I'm already about. struggling with Red Dead here, man. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um, I don't know. But apparently, if fans of the game will tell you to play. Yeah. People, I don't know. Either way, you're going to. I'm, I'm assuming if you buy this fucking thing, you're going to play all these games, you know yeah. what I mean? But either way, some of them are more known than others. I don't know to, to us, and anyway. So that's been 20 games. 20 games 20 so games to start with trailers, a virtual and then I'm assuming that's 99 euro like it's a, it's there's no you don't put a disc in this thing do you no it's no. all built into it so it's an emulator is it gonna be like linked up to the playstation store and you can put more games on it no or this is it that's it that's it that's it you Brand- can't even put any other games on it I don't know that's what they are with your ones like, it'd be pretty sweet if you could do that you a know lot of I mean? people have broken the other ones they have jailbroken the other ones so they can just throw their own fucking flash drive into it and upload oh really yeah oh you can do that then well yeah but you're breaking the system kind of thing like yeah but like <laughs> <laughs> more games you know what I mean <laughs> oh that's the 20 games that's the playstation media that's the main question is Wes would you get one is this, does this interest you would I get a, a, a few of the games do yeah but like I'm not sure like I said Red Dead <laughs> <laughs> so like this was about to the same like I don't mind yeah I just kind of want to discuss it a bit but It'd be great for kids and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, instead of parents having to buy their... In, like, if, if for some parents, they don't want to introduce their kids to consoles at younger ages. Some of them don't mind, you know what I mean? People, different parents have different opinions on that stuff. So I think this could, might be a bit of a compromise. Do you know what I mean? In well, that would, sense. would kids buy this? That's 20-year-old, 23, 24-year-old games at most. Well, think, it's, and think of the fun that we had when we were like 6 and 7 and 8. Yeah, but look, think, think of the fun our folks that are playing the Nez. Would you go back and play it? Would you go back and play the Atari? Yeah, I know, but like it's just it's a good introduction to gaming. It's play, it's simpler, you know what I mean, than all these mm-hmm. new complicated okay. games for kids, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. And it's it's quick and easy thing to set up and play for the younger kids now, you know what I mean? I'm talking ages maybe 
four to seven, eight, whatever. Would you play it? I would be like, nah, I'm grand. I'll stick to Fortnite. I'll stick to this. Well, that's the thing. You know what I mean? That's it's got a lot of com- competition. This this little play <laughs> PS mini. It's very nostalgic. It's not great and timing so many for games releasing. Are putting on it like why? Like Cool Borders too. I know. Intelligent Q. But that's what I'm saying. That's why I think it's mainly it would probably it's succeed so more in the market for game, like, younger yeah. kids, like younger younger kids. It's a hundred quid. Would you invest? A hundred quid though? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know man this thing is. We're not exactly promoting it here, are we? <laughs> but, uh, like, I don't know. A hundred I wouldn't, because at the end of the day, I'm a fucking PS4 Pro and I'm 28. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But uh, I'll be 28 soon. So, no, maybe not. But, like, if I was a parent or something, yeah, yeah. maybe I would. I, it would, wouldn't be a, the worst yeah, gift. investment. It's, it's gifted. It'd Can be a good, maybe good for else. Yeah. You give someone else disappointment. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, Surprise. Be, no, but genuinely, it actually, it would be a good gift, I think. Yeah. So, so that's, yeah. We'll, we'll, I'll go with that. It's a soft yes. I'll play so it is. safe. <laughs> oh, man. So, anyway. Uh, I don't know I'd like one but I wouldn't have time to put it into it it'd no. be fun to play again but again something else I have to, I have something filtered in there already on disc yeah like Final <laughs> Fantasy on the fucking PS3 yeah, I have the disc any, in there as yeah, well yeah but for like somebody new to it like it'd be a good again be a good gift it would be <laughs> Christmas is coming soon folks here's the shit I don't like there's a good idea it's for you 100 quid if you're willing to spend 100 quid on somebody there you go there's one. a little Playstation bit of mini fight bit of IQ cube yeah. but again you got the, um, you got you got Final Fantasy 7 it'd be good for oh, Christmas good. maybe maybe what do you <laughs> no, think no, let, me, let me know what you less. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> let me know let people yeah. just comment on what you think on it. Um, also as well show us a few more questions I love doing our Q&A episode that was yeah, fun yeah, we that was good crack we need to do that Q&A stuff again that was decent uh, anybody has any questions any questions whatsoever within reason yeah. of <laughs> vulgarity <laughs> any de- just anybody who has any questions for the next podcast throw them out there give us a, give us a hand Thanks very much for listening. That's the PlayStation Mini. Yeah, that is it. Um, I think next time we'll do an old uh, games and games. That's probably be a good kill, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'll have to do a good one about that. Yeah, no Q and A if available, and then there is a Red Dead Two review on the way. Yeah, yeah, once we get stuck into that a bit more. So, shit. shit anyway, shit. folks. Wait, yeah. What's, nice one. What, what? what was our thing? Oh, I, I can't remember. Are you trying to bring up the fucking? What? What was our music? I can't just pick one. Just pick a random one. That's what I did the last time because I, I don't it, know it, what it was. I got it, I got it. So yeah. So anyway. So thank you, Wes. Cheers, bro. <laughs> no bar. Um, and as always, take it easy. Oh no, wait. And as always, <laughs> take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> I must go to my lab. And it's easy. <laughs> take it home. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs>